Guys, today pag-uusapan natin isa sa mga very nice camera phone no, na nilabas ni Oppo recently. No? And yes, I'm talking about the Oppo Reno 6Z. And so, gusto ko malaman no, kung gaano kaganda ang camera na to for taking pictures. Tara, pag-uusapan natin. So hi guys, I'm Alasir Richmo ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So nakita na natin ang unboxing no, nito Oppo Reno 6Z. Masabi ko sa inyo, yung kanyang phone factor, no, phone feature is very nice. Medyo may pagka matte finish sa likod. No? So definitely, hindi siya fingerprint magnet. And pag inilawan mo siya, no, medyo may pagka glittery glittery na pagka green into uh, parang sunset na color. No? Which is definitely very nice. No? And ang color nga pala nito is called the Aurora. So, itong phone na ito has debuted no August 2021. No? So, hindi na siya ganun kabago. Pero yung ano niya, no? yung uh, phone niya, I can see that kahit 2022 mo pag gamitin to, in ka pa rin. So, this phone is priced at 19999 for its 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. So, medyo galante naman si Oppo pagdating sa storage dito sa phone na ito. So, itong phone na ito is packed with the MediaTek Dimensity 800U 5G. So, itong phone na ito is 5G ready na. No? So, din na naman natin mag ng ilang benchmarks dito sa phone na ito. No? 346,000 points sa Antutu Benchmark version 9. No? So, it's quite high, no? Uh, considering uh, kanyang processor is uh, parang mid-ranger lang. No? Pero score na is not really that bad. Nakakuha rin siya ng 105,000 points dito sa i2 to benchmark. So, ilalam natin no, kanyang score sa 3D Mark na benchmark for graphics. No? 3,220 no, pagdating dito sa benchmark na ito. No? So, meaning this phone can gain. 577,000 points dito sa Geekbench. No? So, meaning this phone can multitask no? without a hitch. And surprising, level 1 na rin siya no? sa DRM Info. Meaning... Pwede ka manood ng mga HD no pagdating sa Netflix. So itong phone na ito no is a 6.4 inch no na AMOLED display then 1080p siya up 
to 800 nits ang kanya screen brightness to. So pagdating sa mga nits sa ganong katataas, 800, 900. Pagdating sa ano no, sa ilalim ng araw when you're using this phone under the bright sunlight, tinay ko naman siya no, and wala na akong problema. Kaya ko naman magbasa everything that's written on this phone. Uh, siyempre pagdating sa ano when you're out there in the field, pag ginagamit mo phone mo, pag sobrang sikat ng araw, ang problem usually ang problem ng phone is wala kang mabasa. Parang naninilimbong screen mo. No? So, kung mababa ang nits no, ng inyong phone, definitely medyo mahirapan kayong magbasa under the bright sunlight. But not on this one. So, dinay naman natin manood ng video here on this phone. YouTube, uh, sa Netflix, walang problem. No? So, I was watching some videos here. And masasabi ko sa'yo guys, I was able to enjoy. Though medyo hindi ganun kalaki ang kanang screen, eh, it's a 6.4 inch lang. Tapos yung baba na medyo makapal din, no? Uh, compared sa ibang phones. And yung mas sabi ko, AMOLED display niya is uh, medyo stand out dito para sa phone na ito, no? Yun yung parang winning factor dito sa phone na ito. Kaya pag nanood ka ng mga videos, black is blacker. So yung mas punchy ang mga colors when you're watching mga, lalo mga night scenes. Lalo ka when you're watching dark scenes, no? Lalo mga horror movies. Mas sabi ko sa guys, this one definitely stand out. When you're watching those, I don't know, mga films. One thing siguro na missing dito sa phone na ito, no, is wala sa dual speaker, no. So, single firing speaker lang sa ilalim. So, medyo bitin lang siya, no, when you're using the loudspeaker, watching movies, no. Kung gusto mo medyo sagarin yung volume, medyo parang mabibitin ka, eh. So, parang isang side lang nakakarinig kung ganon. And sa kabila kung ganon. So, parang medyo bitin. But of course, it still has the 3.5mm audio jack. So, pwede mong kabitin yung favorite mong headphones para ma-enjoy mga movies dito. So guys, tinay ko naman maglaro ng no, games dito, no? Call of Duty Mobile. Nakaya naman yung mga unlock ng mga itong settings na ito. And I was able to enjoy. Though may fulfill ka kunting frame drops and kunting lags talaga throughout the game, hindi naman siya maiwasan, no? Kasi itong, ano, is not that high level na gaming processor. But, masasabi ko siya, gameplay is nice. Nilower down ko lang kunti yung settings, no? Then, uh, playing for two and a half hours. It was really enjoyable given na itong screen na to is uh, AMOLED na. Was able to enjoy yung graphics niya. Definitely, wala ko naging problem. It's really nice. And overall, ang experience ko dito sa gaming, na, sa phone na ito, is good except na medyo umiinit ang likod when you're playing long hours. No? Pag naglagpas ka na isang oras, feel mo, parang umiinit na ang likod ng phone na ito. Yun lang masasabi ko. So ngayon guys, pag-usapan naman natin ang camera ng phone na ito. Meron siya 64MP na main sensor, 8MP na ultra-wide lens, and 2MP na macro lens. Coupled together with a 32MP na front shooter. I think itong phone na ito should be taking nice photos, no? Tara, silipin natin. Guys, to end up, yung mga pictures na nakuha ko dito sa phone na ito is really nice, no? So, I was able to take in some really nice shots. Outdoors, indoors, uh, mapa low light man, no? And ginagawa na medyo dramatic yung pictures mo. Uh, siguro dahil sa kanyang AI engine na nag-enhance sa kanyang photos. So, tinanin mo natin kanyang selfie camera, no? It was really able to take some nice shots. And overall, sabi ko na, guys, it's really uh, a very nice camera phone. Ito si Oppo Reno 6Z. And tinay naman din natin ang kanyang video camera, no? Front and back. And yeah, I was able to take in really some nice video here. And smooth siya, no? Uh, running yung kanyang uh, video camera. Uh, it was able to take in some smooth. Uh, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya matagtag, no? I was able to take in really smooth na video here. And...
So guys, upon testing yung video camera ng phone na ito, masasabi ko sa it was really nice. Smooth siya, no? Hindi siya matagtag. So meaning, meron siyang image stabilization dito, no? Sa kanyang rear camera. So, tinry din natin ang kanyang front camera uh, using itong, ano, no? 32MP na selfie camera niya. Medyo shaky siya konti, uh, pero tolerable naman siya. So, I think, gamitan niya ng gimbal, no? It will make it look nice. So, overall, ang kanyang camera is definitely A-OK. -okay. So, itong phone na ito meron sa 4,310 mAh of battery. So, it's not the biggest in the uh, industry, no? So, tinay naman natin, i-charge itong phone na ito, no? And using its 30 watts charger. So, dinay naman natin itong battery, no? Down to 17%. Ginarge natin pabalik using yung kanyang default cable, default charger na 30 watts. So, natapos tayo mag-charge, no? In 54 minutes, which is under 1 hour. Quite impressive naman for this one. And ang kanyang battery endurance, kaya naman niya magtagal ng one whole day. Though, pagdating sa end of the day, siguro natira sa akin, no, from 8 in the morning up to 6 in the evening, no. Siguro natira sa akin that time nung ginamit ko siya ng, ano, no, uh, lubusan for halos one week din yun, eh. Uh, I think natira sa akin 14% at the end of the day. Kaya pero medyo mahirapan ka if you're a little bit heavy user. So you'll be charging at around mga noon time para tumagal to, itong phone na ito, yung battery niya. So guys, itong phone na ito has two color, the Aurora and the black color. So of course, ako definitely, I'll go for this one. So guys, ano masasabi ko sa inyo about this phone? It has a great camera, it can game, and definitely multitasking is no problem dito sa Oppo Reno 6C. So if you're uh, out there looking kung saan niyo pwede mabili itong phone na ito, I'll be posting it on the link below sa description box. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here sa aking channel. Isong ka pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Watch out!